Well, greetings once again, shark fans. Seem to be testing a lot of sharks these days. So this is Thomas Rechtenwald's, and it is brand new out of the box. It was a replacement, a warranty replacement, for that guy right there. So let's do as many tests as we possibly can with this, and I'm hoping that we can do four. All filters in. And let's start out with the brush roll spinning. Wow, that is, that's really nice. 73. Okay, so we're going to repeat this as soon as that stops. And we're going to turn the brush roll off, which is really easy to do on this machine. All right, here we go. All filters in, brush roll off. Well, as you can see, the, the CFM didn't really change much at all. So, all right, that's fantastic. Now let's take the filters out and repeat these. So let's see, I gotta go like this. And then I can take this out. I can take that out. And then I can take HEPA filter. There we go. Alright, hopefully you can see that. Might as well leave that off. Why not? By the way, there is a rubber seal right along here. So that's probably the only way that we're going to get any type of appreciable CFM. It's way there. Down. Nothing's in the way. I want to make sure I didn't have anything funny with the cord. Okay, let's do this again. And I will do just the airflow, no brush roll spinning. Alright, almost 75, and let's wait for the anemometer to stop moving. Alright, now everything on. almost 77. So it looks like all these filters here really aren't dragging the machine down, but you know, they're in perfect shape. They've never been used. Another case of way too much nozzle suction.
Okay, so uh, some things get better with age. This machine literally has like, you know, zero hours on it because it's brand new and you saw the particle count kind of drop. So I'd probably say this thing is definitely better than H10, but not quite H11 just yet.